Hello, we're here at the Paris Motor Show. And as you can see, it's actually vast. Uh, there's a total of 41 cars on here. It's over 4,000 square meters, I believe, in size. Um, and we're going to give you a bit of a tour, give you a bit of a show round. And we're going to start with the DS5, uh, the newest addition to the range, came out earlier this year. Uh, it was originally designed, I guess, as more of a, a business class kind of car. But this year, our faithful Top Gear back in the UK actually gave it the top family car um, of the year. Um, as you can see, it's got very strong lines. Um, it's, it's a really good, nice looking car and it's completely different really from anything that was previously uh, put onto the market in mass production. Uh, we'll walk slightly over this way and we'll take a closer look. Uh, you'll obviously have to excuse, we're going to be, you know, we are live at the Paris Motor Show, so there's going to be a lot of people milling around. If I bounce into anyone, I apologise now. Um, we've got somebody, we'll see if we can ask him what he thinks of the car. Um, as you can see, in terms of the inside, uh, I'm not sure if you saw the video of ours on YouTube, it's kind of gadgets galore, really. Um, we've got a guy here who's playing with the, uh, excuse me, excuse me, could you uh, put it back up? If you have a look at the front end, you'll see the heads up display actually come back up at the front of the car. It's kind of like a, an augmented reality kind of thing. It puts up all of the, uh, all of the uh, information that you kind of want, such as satellite navigation, um, speeds, things like that. Uh, this particular model, the Hybrid 4, um, it's got two motors, one um, an electric motor and then a normal combustion engine, which means you can switch it into four wheel drive, which is why it sits slightly higher off the ground. And obviously with the electric motor and the hybrid technology, it's very, very economical in terms of for its class. Um, I believe it's one of the most economical, which is, is one of the reasons I think it's becoming quite popular with um, fleet buyers and the like. Um, in terms of the size, even though you can see by the shape, it's quite different. It's not as long as you would normally expect, um, but there's plenty of leg room in the, uh, in the back. Um, I was actually been in one of these for the last couple of days. We've had one on test and there's plenty of room to do pretty much whatever you want to do. Um, you, you know, I'm six foot three. I can comfortably sit in the back there um, and the finish and the leather on these seats um, and the interior is just really, really good, really nice, good quality and what you'd expect. Uh, we'll now head over to its smaller brother. Uh, the DS4, we've just got to be careful of cables and things. Uh, the DS4 was released slightly before. You can actually see with the size of it the kind of market that it's going through, kind of small family hatch. And I believe last year it was actually voted one of the best uh, looking cars in class. Um, as you can see, it's a really, really nice looking car. Excuse me. Um, and it, it just everything flows and things like that. As you can see, you can fit four adults in there very comfortably, as you can see from uh, the people we've got in here. Um, our only, it's a really nice, it's a nice sporty looking car. My only slight gripe was obviously the ride height. Um, and that's something that's being fixed, hopefully, with um, a brand new concept uh, release, which is the DS4 racing concept. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty standard DS4, but obviously got some specialities on it. Um, it's got a much lower ride height under the arches, it's wider at the front, wider at the back, um, it's a lot more aggressive in general. Yes, at the moment this is only a concept, um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a model go into production, probably a little less aggressive, but within the next couple of years, hopefully. Um, it's featured a 1.6 turbo engine, which was at 265 brake. Um, no word exact specs at the moment, but it's something uh, I think uh, the market would look forward to, especially we've had the DS3 racing. Um, it was one of our favourite cars and a surprise favourite car of a couple of years ago. And it was just so fun, it was nimble, it was great to drive. And I just think the DS4 racing could just be one of the hot hatches um, of the next couple of years and can take on the more sort of well-known people, uh, obviously mentioning no names, so I may not be allowed. Uh, we're going to head back through now. Um, we're going to take a look. You know, it's not you know the Citroen stand as such. Um, it's not just about the cars. As I said there are 41 cars here, but we've got a lot more um, different options as well. If we have a quick look to the right, that you can see that we've got the um, the area where they do. The, we've got a specialist over there who does kind of leather stitching, all of the interior. There's a number of products and stuff there, and you know he'll show you how to do it. There's a baby seat there, which has actually been designed and made into the style um, of the DS5 uh, seats. Um, as we head back over here. As you can see, we've got all the cars are slightly in different sections. We're in the DS5 area at the moment. Um, and we're going to head over the, 
what we'll do is we'll also have a look um, at the Numero Nerf, which is the concept car. Um, you'll see over the side there as well, we've got the Citroen Social Club. Um, basically, if you tag your images, I believe it's Citroen Show on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Flickr, whatever you want, they will actually potentially be on that wall for everybody to see. And social is becoming such a huge part now um, in terms of motoring, manufacturing, and obviously at these vast, vast shows. You know, these are all cars now, the DS3, DS4, DS5 that you can see on the streets. People still come along, see the cars, take their photos, and really enjoy them. And next to the social club, you've also got the, um, the stand where there's obviously all the merchandise. You've got t-shirts, jackets, um, a lot of the rally things there. Obviously, uh, Sebastian Loeb has won the, the rally championship the last couple of years, and Citroen have got huge heritage in that kind of area. Um, if you're a budding young designer, uh, you can take car because we've got the, uh, the Numero Nerf, the number nine uh, concept car here. It's, it's beautiful, you know, let's be honest, it's one of the most beautiful cars. It's one of the most pictured cars at show as well. And it was actually designed by a 25 year old lad who uh, came to Citroen on a trainee scholarship, uh, went back, done his training, came back and worked for them and then came up with this concept idea. And it's now um, basically, it's it's obviously becoming kind of the the flagship and you know the way forward for the DS range in the next few years. Um, and I don't know if you can see a little bit of it. It's it's got the 3D lights on the back, which were flashing earlier. I'm not sure why they're not now. And it's just a really really great looking car. It's kind of I guess in the sport brake model as you would think it and what it's called at the moment but it's, it's just very, very pretty and very, very interesting. Um, and what we've also got is the DS3 Cabrio. Um, now, we're gonna have a hard job seeing one because we're limited, but we've got one on the, on the top of the roof there, and then we've also got a red one through there. Now, it's not a, a true convertible in terms of, you know, it's not a complete drop top like we used to, but it's got the sliding roof, kind of a sliding sunroof, which is the Cabrio. Um, it's going to be huge in the UK market. They're taking orders now. Um, it's going to be sent, and I believe their good deliveries and things are going to be from early next year. And it's, it's, it's going to be something that you're going to see on the streets uh, of the UK, I think, a lot next summer. It's a really fun car to drive. The DS3 has been hugely successful, and I think the Cabrio is going to follow suit. Um, one last thing, now we're going to do well to see this, is um, there's a very large van over there called uh, the Cubic. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's a mix of everything and it's very, very cool. It's a concept, obviously. Um, it's a hybrid concept. It has nine seats and if we wait slightly, you might be able to see when it comes around in terms of the interior with the big side doors. And it's really, really nice, interesting and different. Whether it will ever get to production, who knows, but hopefully one day it will. Um, that's pretty much it from us at the uh, Paris Motor Show with Citroen. Thank you very much. If you've got any questions or anything, let us know. Obviously, tag any tweets, Citroen Show or Citroen, we can answer them. I've been Stuart Flat from Average Joe's Blogs. Have a good day.